Welcome to Mega Technical Support Videos. The topic today MRCT settings. To access the settings, click on this button that looks like uh, it has a couple of gears. Here you will access several settings that change the behavior of the unit during the tests and also changes the uh, post test uh, results evaluation. The first one is you can change the saturation standard that you want to use to uh, evaluate the knee point of the CT under test. The second one is the color options. Here you have uh, different uh, options when it comes to the colors that you can use on the saturation curve of the CT. The tolerance settings are tables that set the settings for the different accuracy classes for metering and protection CTs. You can choose whether you want to show your ratio errors on primary or secondary current. You can choose how you want to see your face error table, whether you want to see the ANSI IEC or Indian standards, etc. On the report and assessment, you can choose the different contents that you want to show on your report. Uh, here you can choose whether you want to show the ratio error table, the ratio error graph, face displacement table, face displacement graph, the ANSI metering parallelogram, and a nameplate assessment. Down here you can choose whether you want your report header to show as that of an asset owner or a service company. This effectively changes the header and adds or removes uh, different sections on that header. Over here you can choose whether you want to show or not your connection diagrams. Typically you will want to show your connection diagrams because you want to uh, be able to verify that you're using the proper connection diagrams. Um, down here you can choose whether you want to enable or disable the prediction of the knee point of the CT. This is something that the software does using the nameplate information provided. The leads check is another algorithm that when enabled checks whether the leads are connected properly or not. You can choose down here to estimate the nameplate of the of the CT. If you disable it, there won't be a nameplate estimation. If you enable it, the software will attempt to do an estimation of what the nameplate should be for you. The default number of tabs here, uh, typically five, has to do with how many tabs do you want to show on your nameplate by default. Having it here at 5 doesn't mean that on nameplate you cannot later change it to more, it just means that whenever you open your nameplate the number of tabs shown there will be exactly the ones that you see um, over here. On the default settings you can choose whether you want to save the current settings as your default settings, whether you want to restore a previously saved set of default settings or whether you want to restore the factory uh, settings into the uh, software. The language in which you show the software you can change it over here. We have um, a set of different languages namely uh, versions of English, Spanish, French, German, etc. The primary noise filtration is another algorithm that is used to uh, filter out noise coming from the primary leads. Um, it is recommended that you use this if you are in a, a very noisy environment or disable it otherwise. The saturation and demagnetization method here uh, is something that you choose uh, whether you want to use an AC or a DC saturation and demagnetization method for the different types of CTs. For example, if you want for metering type CTs to use an AC saturation method, 
that means that you will inject AC voltage all the way during the construction of the uh, saturation curve you could choose to use a DC saturation in which case no AC will be used and it will be um, used a method that uh, Mager has for saturating, for saturating CTs using direct current. You can choose the maximum AC test voltage down here uh, the maximum voltage of the instrument is uh, 2000 volts AC but you can choose a different number here whether for reasons of uh, safety or for other uh, reasons you can say I don't know I want my maximum voltage to be uh, 500 volts and the instrument will not inject a voltage higher than 500 this one here minimum fan speed is how much uh, speed do you want your fans to run at uh, at a minimum in percentage of the maximum speed of the of the fans the saturation curve ramp rate down here has to do with the size of the voltage step used to build the saturation curve. This parameter allows the user to increase or decrease the rate at which the voltage is incremented during the saturation test. The default of 1 means that the value used is exactly the one selected by the software. By entering a number less than 1, for example 0.4, the ramp rate will be reduced. For example, entering this number here will reduce the voltage increment selected by the software by 60%. It will multiply it by 0.4. This feature can be very useful when a CT saturates very quickly with minimal voltage increases. An important section of the settings is the display versions. This allows you to check the firmware and software versions of the instrument as well as some other important information. Very often when talking to our technical support group you will be asked to provide a screenshot of this. This concludes our support video for today.